Hey guys, welcome back to another Brain Legend episode here today on the channel. Today we are going to be looking at every single 80s action hero customization in the game. If you like the video, go ahead and leave a like on it and put a comment if you have like a favorite setup you like or just like anything you like from here. Without further ado, let's get right into it. You don't want to spend too long with the whole intro. So, we have ourselves the hot dog skin. Frankly, you bet your buns he relishes the opportunity to catch up with friends. This is a costume from the price map. I want to say it's it's definitely like a summer themed skin. I want to say it's July because, you know, July usually for America you have like hot dogs and stuff and so this is literally called hot dog. But it could be June, but I'm Pretty sure this is a July one, so there you go. It's a, it's red. <laughs> That's basically it. Next up, we have the Light Fighter. He fights for the light, which is a lamb that's always been kind to him. So this is a Robotron skin. It's basically like the other one, except for it's white, and his glasses are, you know, clear. That's Basically, it, there's not really much to say about it. it it's there, I guess. The hair is kind of nice. Next up is the Unicorn Hero. When you need help, or a lot of glitter in your eyes, he'll find you. Yeah, you don't need to come to him. He'll know where you are. This is a, another Rewardatron skin. If this isn't the freaking Pride skin, I really don't know what it is. But I mean, it's okay, I guess. I mean, not really. Like, well, what am I going to describe? Is a little star tattoo on his arm. Next up, we have the finisher. He didn't start the post-apocalypse, but he'll finish it, whatever that means. So this one's kind of like an outland, kind of like desert theme kind of skin. And I do kind of like it. It actually does look pretty good, especially with the glasses. And he's got spikes, I guess. <laughs> I don't really know. You can see his abs. Then you have the Mass Mayhem. Leads to Mayhem Snakes of Mayhem, which has one member, him. So this is a Ruck skin. And... It's not too bad. The hair is a little bit questionable. But other than that, it's got a very intimidating mouthpiece. Especially on my main setup. Which is like that. Like, every single time I look at that, it just, it looks like it goes so well together, honestly. But other than that, I mean, he's got flip-flop. I actually did not realize that until just now. He's got like a cool dragon on his crossbow, and he's got like some graffiti on it. It's not too bad. But then this one exists. General D Zero. Sent back in time to get a matching shark vest for his flying buddy Zero. So this is another Ruck skin. This one is probably one of the nicest ones I've ever seen. I mean, it's a. Just like what I said in the soldier one, I really like future stuff. He's a cyborg. It really works out. And if you didn't know, his little flying thing, it's actually like his hat, so you don't have to always have this little flink thing like flying around. But I mean, you gotta have low zero, right? I believe, yeah, you can see like in the middle, like the little red radar. It's like it's a little sensor, and both of them move at the same time. Anyways, he's also very shiny. Next up, you have the Deluxe Edition, Judge Z. Judge, Jury, and Excessive Wearer Bling. And, well, you're right about that. So, he comes with a chickpea for Deluxe. His hair is what drives him back. So f it's like what is that? It's like one of those cornfields, except for it's on your head. 
other than that, you just got purple and gold, which, you know, it's not too bad. You could have, like, some likes for that. But anyways, enough of that. Time to get to customizations. First off, we have the entire outfit of the Mighty Mistake set. So I've gone through every single one that's just called the set. So you see he's got his, oops, he got his eye patch, he's got his, I mean, it's kind of a mustache, it's kind of droopy. Uh, he had a little biking accident, so I got a wheel on his head. Is that from a bike though, or is that from like a car? Cause it looks like a steering wheel. Then he's got his cast. Can we see... Get well soon? <laughs> Except for it's... Is that an, it looks like a SOC for soon. He's got like little... Tattoos and stuff. And you got Zomboss signed in too. Alright, so... Next up is the... The Rainbow Bling set. I... I... Hmm. <laughs> Where do I even begin with this? I... I don't even know what to say. I mean, it, it works well with this, I guess, but it's just... It's, uh, it's excessive, isn't it? But next up we have the Groovy Mix. Also, I didn't say this, but all three of these are all um, Rewardatron prizes. So they're all freebies. So this one is the, I totally forgot. Yeah, the Groovy Smooth set. Nice thing is probably the hair and the headset. Except for I don't know why every single thing has like these little dangling things in the back. I mean, other than that, his glasses look okay. His shoes, not too bad. And then he's got mixtape because, um, because yeah. And next up we have the Sonic Rocket set. This is a rock set. And, I mean, it's not too bad. He's got a rocket shoe. He's got this mouthpiece with a piranha. So I'm guessing this is like a scuba gear? Because why else would he have a piranha on him? And then this big old helmet, which actually isn't too bad. There's been worse hats. But it's, it's okay. K, I guess, in my opinion, you can get it if you want. But then you got other stuff, such as the Psy Punk Funk. So we got ourselves a like metal jaw, a dangly eye piece that moves around, and probably the ugliest hairdo I've ever seen. And it's. It looks like it's like burnt or something. Well, to be fair, it's probably like future cyb well not not future cyborg but just like I don't know he's like halfway there I mean kind of but I do really like the shoe I don't know why maybe because it has a skull on it I don't know if that's technically a cool thing or not and I think that's it all these should be sets yeah, so let us equip the regular and get into the hats. So we got Lifeguard Stand, which is a... a is this a prize map? Because I'm pretty sure you don't get this in Rewardron. It's kind of basic though. I mean, it is literally a rare, which is basically common. Well, if you want to be a... A lifeguard. There you go. <laughs> then you got the battery flapper. This one is a prize map skin from I want to say August or September. And you pretty much make them to like a fishy boy. It's not too bad. 
Don't know what it will actually like go with, but the hat itself is not too bad. Then we have the Hero Surprise, which is a Rex hat. I actually forgot this existed. This was like the last thing I actually got. And um... Yeah, it's funny because you see no one wear this. You wonder why. I... Do I have to explain? <laughs> why would you want to run around with like this crazed like karate chopping Bud Lightyear ripoff thing? Next up we have the Hero of Power. Which is probably based off He-Man saying the hero and power. So we got blonde, orange, purple. I mean, is that kind of purple? It's kind of like pink purple. Red, black, and white. And this is a Rewardatron hat. I mean, it says it's a hat, but it's, it's hair. It's obviously hair. Then we have the One-Eyed Tiger Topper, which is a prize map hat from May. I thought it was like one that had like a bunch of hat skins. And this was obviously with them. Once again, it's just like you don't see some of these hats often because it just doesn't go well with anything. And if you leave it by yourself, you just got a normal 80s hero with just some one-eyed tiger. I mean, it, it's kind of fluffy, but that's basically it. Then you have the Slithering Scale Cap, which is a Rewardatron. So this is another freebie. This one's probably one of the best looking hats because it comes in brown, orange, purple, red, black, and white. And this just looks so clean and Australian at the same time. And then we have the Glam Town, which is a Rewardron hat. I feel like I say Rewardron way too often, but honestly, I think most of them are from there. We got ourselves brown, orange for some reason, purple, red, black, and... I mean, it's kind of like vanilla. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, and that bring us to Luch Adorable? Look Adorable? I got no clue. This is a hat from a prize map. I want to say this was actually just in February, but I never checked the prize maps anymore because I completed all of them. But anyways, here is brown. The, that's, that's not purple, that's pink. It's a very, very bright pink. Red, black, orange, and white with some cyan. I mean, you can maybe work this around with a couple of things. I don't know, it's just like, I feel like most hats are kind of underwhelming. You usually only find like one or two that actually work well. You just stick with it. And now that brings us to the last two legendary hats, which is the Action Cam and the Bowcat Blast Hat. So we'll go over the freebie like always with the giant camera because, you know, that's not distracting whatsoever. We're going to shoot the P. I didn't release it button soon enough. I mean, I got the wildfire. That's not the point, though. The point is to get the P. And, yeah. A countdown from 3 to 0. And then some film pops out. So we're just gonna... Just wear him down just a little bit. Walk forwards, walk away. Yeah, that's... <laughs> it's underwhelming. It's really big. I actually never wore this before. I see other people wear it, but I'm like, no, I don't want to look like an idiot with a giant camera on their head. So, it's okay. I mean, if you don't have a legendary hat, it's free, so there's that. 
And then you got this one, which is a prize map hat. We shall skillfully kill people with Rocket Ride as a champ. We don't actually don't want to kill you yet till we're done. And there you go. You got some roaring and starts like sh screaming and shouting or whatever. I actually used to like this hat a lot, but then other things came out. <laughs> I don't know, because also it has like a visor, so I can't use like the um, the, what's it called? Uh, the finisher shades, which is what I usually use. So it's just kind of in the way, but other than that, it's, it's a pretty cool hat. And now for the finale is our good old jesters that no one really cares about, but I'm going to do them anyways. So we got ourselves the victory dance. I mean, it's not really a dance. The laugh of heroes. The face of ugliness. Really do be ugly though. And then we have the free ones, which is the swagger point. I never really understood that one. And head banging. Nice, short, and sweet. And you kind of rock out to your little boombox. Then we have the October one, which is no hand ups. He uses his tongue to lift his body. That's how buff this guy is. And then in June. Not July, because they had two different months for this. They had the Sky Celebration. It exists. And then we had the two Rex gestures, which is the Air Guitar. Another short, sweet kind of thing. And the one I currently have equipped, which is the Windmill Breakdance, which is the other Rex one. So yeah, I really wish I could like zoom out or something so you can actually see like his fancy feet work without it being like this where it's like kind of awkward. But with that, that's everything 80s related. And so most of it's actually reward trying for some reason. And since the Switch version is going to have all the work time speed coins, technically this is all free. And so with that, that's everything. And so next time, I believe we're looking at Nightcap. Oh boy, we're getting the Nightcap. <laughs> the most annoying character throughout the entire game. Take a look at. So, see y'all next time.